Okay, everybody. Hey there again. It's Monica from Parachute Treasures. This is going to be part two of the dresser trunk tutorial. All right. So we left off. Here's where we were. We got our awesome box going on. Okay. So we're going to start prepping the next pieces. All right those in there before I lose them. All right. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the lid, okay, which is the front top of the box, okay. I say that because it is the front, but then you flip it up and it's the top of the box, all right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece here, we're going to surround it on the front. Construction strip, but we're going to make this the decorative piece. And what we're going to do first is make sure we have the right side. Okay. And I believe that was the side. Okay. So uh, this now is going to be attached to here. It's all right. It's all right. To here. So we're going to put this piece onto there. Okay. And by now, you guys should know what's going on. So it's going to be a little more fast forward in this video. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put our construction strip on the other side. So we're going to cut this to length. Right. Now this is a little bit wonky. It's probably because we had rain today and now it's not raining and it's getting really dry. So don't worry. It will go together. Okay. So this piece is going to attach to the front piece. Okay, like that, oops, I guess I'll, before we do that, I'm going to put two more construction strips on either side, so it makes my life easier, and I'm not wrestling with everything. side.
So. What I want you to guys to realize, first of all, is you want to make sure you have your pieces going on the right side. Now, I have stripes, so I know which way they're going, and they match up with the side of this box. Okay, so this piece here obviously goes on this side. Okay, like so. Right, so I'm gonna cover this side and this side right now with construction strips, but they are decorative, okay? Okay, so now I have my decorative strips, okay, on both sides and at the bottom here. And now what I'm going to do is make sure I have the right direction and I'm going to put a decorative strip on the bottom piece of the back. Okay. the way it's going to be. We are going to set this piece now. So this is the top part and this is the top part. We are going to take our strip off of here. Okay. You can add some art glitter glue if you like. Certainly not going to hurt it. And we are going to set it against this. Okay, and we're going to make sure the corners are lined up. I'm going to hold it. We're going to push that into there, and then we're going to fold this up. So I'm going to just hold it like this. And I'm just pushing down with it on my, with my arm here so that it doesn't move anywhere. All right. So that's going to be like that. Now the art glitter glue is not even close to drying. I'm gonna drop a little bead along here. And then I'm gonna flip this back up. And now I'm gonna wipe off any excess here. Just lean it against that so I can let that glue dry, okay? Put a little weight on it. There we go. So then what I'm going to do is I want these pieces here to be on the outside of this. Okay. So I want to make sure that all of these pieces are lining up. So now is a good time to do it while it's standing up straight and it's going to be flush up against standing on its own now. So this piece here, you want it to be like this, okay? But if it's a little bit shy, it's not the same as the other piece. So you don't, you're not going to worry about it lining up at this corner here, okay? And you'll see why soon. Alrighty. So that's that. 
and okay we're gonna go for a dry fit people so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my box lay it this way so you guys can see it a little better I'm gonna take my box I'm gonna line these up here all right so I'm just showing you, I'm going to have to flip it back the other way so that I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to line it up here. So in essence, I want to make sure that my box is going to be square. Okay. So it's this portion here. So I'm going to just gently lie it down there like that. And I'm going to dry fit it like that. And that looks pretty square. All right. Like that. So the way I am going to make sure that it's square is I'm going to take these pieces now. All right. And I'm going to put them in place like this. Okay. So I stuck that down in there. I'm just going to turn this off. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a construction strip. And I'm going to put that in here now. All right. Measure it. One side here. And I'm going to do this so it holds it up. Okay, because I want to make sure that when I'm putting this together, I want to make sure that this piece is on the outside of this piece. So if I hold it up while I'm putting the construction strip on, it'll work much better. Okay. And then I can just, I've got it lined up now. So I just kind of give it a little pinch on the bottom. And then I'm going to flip it like this and I'm going to burnish it down. Okay, so now that is set on there. Okay, I want to make sure this is even on this side. Okay, and I'm going to trim this off right now. So I'm not wrestling with it in a second here. I'm going to peel the score tape off. And I'm going to turn it, I'm going to just set it gently again. I want to make sure it's on the outside. So I'm just going to pinch it down a little bit. Give it a little push, and then I'm going to flip it this way and burnish it down on this side. Now it is square. It's square, and before I get a little too crazy, I'm going to make sure that it fits on there. I'm just going to hold it up, and I'm checking at the bottom 
to make sure that I haven't got too much height on there. Because if I do, I can put the piece, I can put this piece, and that's when I can burnish it down and make sure that everything is sitting properly where it's supposed to be. Okay. So I know I only have one side on, but I just want to make sure now that it's going to fit good. And it is. I know you guys can't see it. I'm going to turn it sideways so you can see. I mean, I'm just going to show you, pretend it's standing up. Okay, and I can basically just hold it like that. And it fits good. Okay, so it's flat here. That's the key, and it's flat here. If it's not fitting, and so for example, if you do that, I'm going to exaggerate it, so I'm just going to stick my finger in there. If it's too high here, you're going to put too much pressure on your um, construction strip that we're going to use as a hinge for the lid. All right, so if it's like up like this, and it's sitting flat, of course, then you are going to want to make some adjustments somewhere. All right. And something's wrong. So, I'll show you the top. So, it'll square up mine will anyway once I'm done here. So, example, if you've placed this piece here on top of your side piece instead of embedding it in there, that's one of your issues. If that's not what you did, again, you can burnish this down, okay, and flatten it out so that'll fit, okay? And believe me, you must bend it to your will. Get a hammer out. No, I'm kidding. I don't need a hammer. Okay, so mine's fitting pretty good. And so I am going to finish this side. So, see right here, I didn't trim that. Little things like that, if you guys didn't trim it, that'll throw your box off too. Okay, you may not have trimmed the paper off of the top side, and now the paper is pushing it up like as much as you did not trim it off. So, just make sure that you trim all of your paper like I'm going to do right now. Okay. Now another thing that you can do, as I just thought about it, if it is a little too long, mm -hmm. you can also um, inset the back piece as well. So inset this piece to the back piece, and the way you're going to do that, same thing, just kind of burnish this in, okay, and push it so it's in behind there, okay, like that. Mine's okay, so I'm not going to push hard. I'm just showing you what you can do to help modify it just ever so slightly. You can bend it to your will. You can also take this side, and you can flatten this side out a little. Just make sure if you're doing that, you got to do the whole thing. Okay. So just like we did earlier, right? Flatten it out. Because it is chipboard. It's not wood, right? So, and then when you set it on there, it'll be flatter. And you can do as little or as much as you want to do. All right. And we are going to put a construction strip on the top, so don't stress too much about it. I know that's if people are going to have an issue, that's usually where the issue is. So, yeah. That is where it happens, mostly. Okay, so I'm going to dry fit this and make sure it's level with the top here, which mine is. Okay, what I'm going to do now, we want to make sure it's on the outside, right? So I'm going to line it up with the edge of that, okay, oopsie, sorry, I can't see too good, guys, so I'm just trying to get this, and again, I'm going to run some art glitter glue in here for added support because this is the part that's going to swing up and down and a 
Although this isn't, it'll all still work. If we use our glitter glue, it's better safe than sorry. Right? And I'm going to put up my construction strip. Okay, I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to burnish it from the inside. Sorry you guys can't see that, but oh well. Okay. And another little tiny bit of glue along this edge here. Alright. And then I'm going to flip this back up. And I'm going to wipe off the excess glue. And that will help hold it together a little bit. trim. Alright. And I'm just holding this in my with my hand and struggling because I want to give that glue a chance to dry. I'm still working here. Okay. Oops. Which I just didn't do. Okay. So I'm looking here and it's pushed out a little too far, so I'm just going to give a little burnish right now before I put the construction strip in there tight. Line that up. Peel this off. Okay. Hold it on. Now, again, I'm putting it up against that and then I'm putting my construction strip on. That's just so you're going to keep an even look if you do that, okay? So, basically sticking it on here first. And just light ever so lightly. And then I'm going to flip it over and burnish it really good. see but I'm burnishing it on the inside okay so that's that side. so now I'm going to dry fit this on here one last time make sure I've done everything right okay and the box is square matching at the bottom so I am good to go and again if it's too much if it's if it's sticking up too much it's because you got to do this at the bottom okay mine is actually sticking up now I don't know why so I'm just gonna flatten this out a little bit don't rip your hinges don't rip your construction strips continues to throw fits it's usually because of this so if you didn't trim exactly what it said to trim in the cutting guide or if you use a different trimmer like if you use two different trimmers for your project it happens okay so I know you guys can't see this but we are good now okay I'm going to take this and do this so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, dry fit. So, well, it's actually slid down now. It's flush on the top here where my finger is, and it's even at the front. Okay, so it's even here, 
and it's flush where my finger is right here. Okay, that's what we want to see. We want to make sure everything fits. We're going to hold it at the front. Make sure it sideways that it's the proper size and it's not too big and we didn't put our pieces in wrong. Okay, and we're good. And I know it looks like wonked on the camera there, but it's looking pretty good to me. So we are now going to put on the top finished side, we're going to put a construction strip and we're going to make it so that it is just, I'll put it in a second here. We're not going to go edge to edge. So this piece here, I'm going to put my construction strip like this and it's not right to the edge here and it's not right to the edge here. Okay, so like that. Okay, I'm stick it on. Oh, and also this one bends back. So you can do that and just get a little pre-bend like that. And you can line it up like it's so. Okay. Also line it really flush against the edge here, okay? Like that. Alright, and then I'm going to flip it down like this. And I'm going to burnish it. Because I can't burnish it from the other side, I'm going to make sure I'm pushing really hard on there. And I'm burnishing it really, really well. Okay. Now, here's where I want you guys to make sure that you line it up properly. So, there's two ways you can do this. The easy way or the hard way. So, depending on which way you guys want to do it, I'm going to fold this back a little bit so it doesn't stick in advance and ruin my night. And yes, it is night, very late, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand up for this, so I, I'm going to line this up, okay, with the sides, I'm going to set it down at the bottom, and I know you guys can't see this, so I'm going to just tip it up, so you want to make sure it's fitting at the bottom here, okay? So down here, you want it to fit. I didn't just stick that. So see this corner here? This is why you have to make sure everything's set in place. If anything's thrown fits on you, give it a push. Don't be shy. Okay, so remember I was a little bit off on that. So just take it and bend it to your will. As I said, it's only paper. If you need, uh, seriously, if you need a hammer, just get a hammer and give a little tap because that's where it braces, right? Now, it will probably fit a little bit better now that I have manhandled it. So, like that. So, we want the bottom to match up, make sure it's even. And the top will automatically line up. Now you guys can't see it, but it's lining up. Okay? <laughs> so I'm going to just do that. I'm going to stick it down as soon as I get both of these sides lined up. Here. Okay? And then. So it's lined up at the front. I'm just going to gently push. Don't push too hard. There's no brace in there, right? So what I'm going to do is take this box. Hopefully I don't hit the camera. And I'm going to fold it up. Okay. And here we go. So it's on the inside now. If you're going to adjust anything now, 
Now's the time to do it before you stick it all down. Okay. So I am basically going to squeeze it together. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. So put it that way so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so see how everything's lined up? It's all good. For ladies that have arthritis, and this is going to be hard on you, get a pair of jewelry pliers. You know, the ones with the plastic tips on it. You can get a pair of pliers and wrap um, electrical tape around it and use that just to pinch these together so you're because it's pressure sensitive tape okay and I know you guys think I'm nuts right now but this is kind of important okay so there's the top now I can flip it down okay and we're good to go Now, it seems a little wonked, but once we get all our pieces in the box, you will see it will all line up perfect. Because right now it's all floppy in there. But once we get everything in there, like our drawers, it will be just fine. So I can see at the side here. I'm going to give you the side view. So when I close my box, and again, there's nothing in there. As long as this corner lines up, we are good to go. All right. Got it. Got it. Okay. So I'm going to lift this lid up. Okay, guys. So that is the structure of the outside of the box. And I'm going to take a break. And it's really late here. And I'm going to continue this again with part three the video link will be down below okay if you have any questions down below put them there again if you guys want to pick up this kit and you're watching this video it's countrycraftcreations.com if you're in the states and if you're in canada go to peartreetreasures.ca and if there's none in the shop you just drop me a line and we'll see if we can't fix you up. Okay? Thanks for watching. See you in part three. Watch for the link below for part three.